Hey guys, it's me, Genesis Moss, with another Masters of the Universe Classics review. This week, Masters Classics, Lord Dactus. This is a figure that I've been waiting for since the beginning of the line, so let's go ahead, open him up, and see if he makes the cut. Lord Dactus comes packaged on the standard Masters Classics blister card. On the back of that card, we have a selection of other characters available on the line, as well as a new bio for Lord Dactus. Now, upon removing him from the package, he is, well, a little naked. He has some minor assembly required. So we start off by removing his head. Then, we take and place the armor over his neck, and we replace his head. After that, on the back of his armor, we can see two peg holes. Those holes are for the pegs on his wings. So, we attach the wings to his back, and voila! Lord Dactus! After he is assembled, he is a giant monster of a toy. Without his wings, he stands at least a head taller than most of the other toys in this line. With his wings, he just seems huge and menacing. So let's go ahead and take a look at his head sculpt. Wow! The horsemen do such amazing work. Dactus is a perfect representation of his character from the Mike Young Productions animated series. His skin is light blue with an almost white color of blue to highlight the details on his face. He has two tusks coming off either side of his face and he has beady red eyes. Although he has monstrous details, you can really see in his expression that he is one of the good guys. He wears a rust colored helmet with two large ears exposed. The helmet runs all the way down his neck and the sides of his face and it looks great. His armor is the same rusty color as his helmet, with the bottom portion painted black to give it some life. He has two large shoulder pads that make him feel even more imposing. He has a reuse of the wings we have seen with Dragoman and Granomir. I gotta say, the tool for these wings has been put to good use over the past couple of years, and I really hope Mattel gives us some more characters that need them. His loincloth is brand new, and is also that rusty color. It looks great, and I am glad it is not just another reuse of those furry trunks. The back of his loincloth has a blue tail sticking out of it. Sadly, it's not articulated, but it still looks really nice. He has brand new ankle pieces. These are very awesome. They are much longer than the normal ankles and make him stand taller. My only problem is they also make him a little harder to have him find a center of gravity. That is not due to the length, but due to the shape. They are at an odd angle and he really would have benefited from having some ankle rocker articulation. He also has brand new feet. They are massive. These feet are wide and look very cool. They have four large black claws extending from them. So let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. He has articulation at the head. Wings swivel and cut. Shoulder, bicep, elbow, and wrist. Ab crunch and waist cut. Hips, thighs. Knee, boot, and ankle cut articulation. He comes with one accessory, and I have to say, I am impressed with it, and that is his sword. The hilt almost looks like wings, with that same rust color with a black gem in the middle. From there, the dark gray color above the rust turns to a metallic silver, and that makes for one awesome accessory. So, 
So overall, I think Lord Dacus is a great figure. I'm glad we're finally seeing more representation of the 2002 series in the Masters of the Universe Classics line. Other than his toppling over problem because of the center of gravity with his ankles, he's just an amazing toy. So if you get the chance, go out and buy him. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. Follow me on Twitter at IHaveThePower82 and check out my Facebook page which has a link below in the show notes. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.